Hey guys, this will be a summary for the latest web novel chapter, so it will contain spoilers, so if you're anime only, I recommend you click off the video. This video will continue from chapter 85 entitled Good Loser. I do have a summary for that, so if you want to watch it, go ahead. The scene starts up with Ram thinking about Roswell's plan to kill the dragon. Roswell and Ram made a deal in which Ram would be the one to help with Roswell's plan regardless of what it was. However, she never did once ask what she would have to do to kill the dragon. Ram agreed because Roswell was the one that saved them from the burning Oni village. Roswell stated that Ram and Ram would have a role to play when the time came, realising that Ram is a replacement for Ram's horn. Even with Roswell afflicted with the authority of gluttony, he was able to piece together Ram's purpose, to act as a replacement horn. Even though Roswell was defeated by Subaru, he still will do what he needs to do to achieve his aim. In fact, Ram believes that letting Ram go to the tower might have been part of Roswell's plan. However, she may be overthinking it. We get the backstory of the three main people that Lai has eaten, and again he toys with the idea of mixing memories and abilities to create the ultimate being. Lai Betengeos believes that he won't actually be taken over because he's the one that's drinking from the vessel rather than becoming a part of the vessel. Ram states that she will let Lai Betengeos get three attacks off, however Lai states that getting cocky would make her lose. Either way, Lai attempted to fight Ram, however Ram easily deflected his attacks and beat him to the floor after three attacks. As Ram continually smacks Lai Batankeos down, Ram states that she's always hated the feelings she's had when she had her horn, and stated that when she lost her horn, she was finally free. However, now she said that she finds it less annoying. In the background, Ram's horn shines alongside Petrash whilst Ram continues to kick and throw Lai Batengeos away from them. Ram states that due to her ability to sense her sister's emotions, she always knew that they were related by blood. However, there was something Ram knew. Due to this ability, she would share emotions with her sister. So if Ram had a nightmare, for example, as she was sleeping, Ram would feel this emotion. However, over the past year, Ram felt nothing. No emotions from Rem, which meant that Rem was not dreaming at all, she was just in darkness, frozen in time. Ram realised she could use her ability with Rem from Subaru. After all, if Subaru used Corleonis to take away Ram's burden, Ram could use that ability on Rem to borrow her horn and give her some of her burdens. Despite all this, Ram is still happy that she lost her horn because the end result of that was that she didn't have to be this Oni god and at the same time, it allowed her to meet with Roswell. As Lai continues to fight with Ram, he gets pummeled to the floor. He eventually crawls away and reverts back to his original form, no longer being a monster. As Lai is on the floor, Ram states that why doesn't he fight for the sake of his sister and brother, and why doesn't he actually use his own skills instead of using other people's. Lai states that Ram is too kind and then runs away using the Leaper ability. He states that he doesn't care if Roy dies because Roy eats bad food. He also laughs at the fact that Roy and Lewis are targeting the same prey. Either way, Lai decides to run. However, he realises something else, that he feels a bit different about Ram. He feels an emotion. He feels a love. Lai realised the emotions he had for Ram invalidated his gourmet title, realising all the names and memories he ate had no real purpose. He was no longer gourmet in his eyes. Either way, Ram could chase him due to clairvoyance. Lai professes his love for Ram and attempts to write a bloody message on the wall. However, Ram kills him and slices him apart, stating that he made the wrong decision for valuing his life over the lives of his siblings. Ram makes her way back to Rem and Patrash and realises that Lai Bat and Kaos didn't know how to return names and memories because if he did, he would have used it as a bargaining chip to survive. Before the chapter closes, Ram strokes Rem's cheek, stating that one day she would love to talk to her about all of the yesterdays that she has accumulated and that these would be her yesterday's stories. Ram then says, I love you, Rem. This was the last words of Lai Bat and Chaos, but it didn't sound the same as Ram's, I love you, and they would never be the same. 
anyway that's the end of the chapter so we do have Lybat and Kato's being killed so that's another loose end tied up hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time